Hello everyone, in this lecture we will study about noise in a folded cascode open. The noise of a cascode of devices is negligible at lower frequency and its leave only M1, M2, M7, M8 and M9, M10 as potential significant sources. Now in this case the thermal noise is given as Pn square out M7, 8 is equals to twice of 4 kT into 2 upon 3 gn square 7 8 into r square out which are uncorrelated noises and where the factor this 2 accounts for noises of m7 and m8 and this r out denotes the open loop output resistance of the op-amp where the vn square out thermal noise of transistor 9 then is given as same equation just changing this uh, subscript 7 8 as 9 10 and similarly for the transistor M12, same thermal noise changing the subscript as 12. Now the gain of the device is given as GM12 R out, where the total input referred thermal noise is given as Vn square n is equals to Vn square out total upon gain square, which is given as 8 kT in brackets twice of 3 GM12 plus GM, twice of GM78 upon 3 GM square 12 plus twice of GM910 upon 3 GM square 12. Okay, now the clicker noise is given as Vn square out in the case of transistor 78 is given as twice of Kp upon COX W778 1 by F GM square 78 into R square out. Similarly, for the transistor 910, same equations with the uh, subscript changes to 910, and similarly for the transistor 12 the same equation changing the subscript to 1 to and the gain is similarly gm12 r out okay now the total input referred public noise is given as vn square n is equals to vn square out total upon gain square which is can be calculated as twice of kn upon coxf into 1 upon wl12 plus 1 upon wl910 gm square 910 gm square 1 to bracket close plus twice of kp coxf 1 upon WL78 GM square 78 upon GM square 12. Okay. So, the, the overall or noise we have written in this adding both the thermal noise, the input referred thermal noise, and the clicker noise. This is the overall noise founded in this folded cast code open. Okay. Now, we can see the noise contribution of the PMOS and ANMOS current source increases in proportional to their transconductance. And this trend results in a trade off between output voltage swing and input referred current. Okay, and for a given current as implied by GM, this GF equals to twice of ID upon VGS minus VTH. And if this overdrive voltage of the current source is minimized to allow large swing, the transconductance can be maximized. Okay, so you can see over here, the transconductance is in this side also. So by increasing this transconductance, this overall noise can be minimized. Okay, this is all about the noise in a folded cascode op-amp. In the next lecture, we will study about noise in a two-stage op-amp. Thank you.